Hello and welcome to Hixie Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make this card. I, for the life of me, I can't find the name of the card. I, I've seen loads of this done, but I don't know what the name is. So if anybody knows, feel free to comment on uh, the, the YouTube uh, comments page. So it's really a quite a straightforward card, although it looks really effective. So I'm going to grab Okay, so this is my base card. It is um, the length of a piece of A4 by six inches. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to score it in half, uh, which is roughly five and seven eighths. And there we go. Okay, and I'm, for the moment, I'm not going to fold it forward. Okay, so. The way that this card is created is um, basically you cut off two, two triangles here. So we need the midpoint of this card, which is at three inches. So one, two, three here. So, and I'm going to grab my um, guillotine and I'm going to put it in, line up the fold line with my little line there. And the same on the other side, like so. Okay, right. and then we're going to burnish that over. Oh, my guillotine's a little bit ragged. Oh, all sorts of things going on. So let's just cut that off there. So, so what happens then is these two bits, uh, I always get these around the wrong way, then create a cross like so which causes our uh, creates our three points at the bottom okay so um what i have done is i cut a a matting and layering square um of two different colors and then um i'm going to mark the center I've already done it, so I've already marked the center of of here Crash. and the center of here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to be sneaky and do the two together, and we're gonna do the same as we did before. So we're going to line the top corner up with that center piece, and then. Oh, this, is, this is where we start to get a little bit. Is it going to slide and slither? It's going to line up those like so. Now I do know that I want this one, but I know that it, it's it's too long, so I need to just cut off um, a small amount. I'm just going to do it by eye. Small amount from the top of that one. That will now fit. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then I want the two, and I think I've just knocked one on the floor, the two pink triangles. Uh, again, I'm going to need to just um, cut off a little bit from the base of those they fit on. Okay, so let's get these uh, all stuck on in the right place. Now keep those because you can make another card with the flip colours if you so wish. Go blue. And ooh. There we go. So, let's stick that on there. And we're going to stick this one on here. Okay, and then this one on the front of our card. Like so. Okay.
There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to oh I've, I've uh, moved those. Oh, and it's a bit too late. What I'm going to do? I'm just going to slightly trim that off. Yeah, that's me trying to going a little bit too quick. Not to worry. Let's keep going because this bit is going to be covered up anyway. Just this little bit at the end. But we might get away with that because the uh, the sentiment will cover that. So I'm going to stick um these on. I'm just going to place it and I'm just gonna lift the card. Oh she says not doing enough to do. Lift the card and make a mark just under there so I know where I want the glue. Like Let's so, so hopefully the glue is only on that bit there. And then similarly here, this one's going to go this way. So, so mark it there. There we go. Let's put the glue here. And then that one goes that way. And that's, that's all you need to do to create that style of card. So we're gonna stick our um just gonna put that little line up there. I'm gonna sit my piece in the back uh of my card here. Like so and there we go. Now uh art I have used bear with me um I have used this stamp set. This is um, it's from the Julie Hick Hickey Designs, uh, the designer series. So this is designed by Hazel Eaton, um, and this is the More for the Girls stamp set. It um, goes with the All About the Girls stamp set as well, which is also based around the ferns. But I wanted the large fern for this, so we're going to stamp. Our fern. Um, I'm just going to grab my stamp back on first there. And I'm going to uh, also going to emboss this. So grab that. And oh, the stamp is in the folder here. So it doesn't matter which way around, I'm just going to put it on. And I'm going to then just put my um, magnets just around it. And then over like that. Um, I'm going to make sure before I stamp that I grab a piece of paper, that I grab my um, clear embossing powder, and I'm using uh, Versafine Claire Nocturne. Uh, to do this, put the lid back on that, otherwise, I'm going to put my arm in it. And I can see uh, there's obviously a little bit of residue on my stamp, but that's okay because I'm stamping over in exactly the same place. Oop, there. there we go. And on there before I move my stamp up and we're going to put embossing powder on before the ink dries. It's not, it's not particularly an embossing ink um, but it gives a nice um, it gives a nice uh, clear stamping stamped image so, that there. and bring this in I'm going to make sure everything's covered and then I'm just Tap it and let's put the embossing powder back in, like so. And heat emboss. With heat embossing, you just hold 
your gun in place until you start seeing it change, which you should be able to there, and then you start to move it. Don't waft it around. Just move it as the powder melts. Just move it onto the next bit. Make sure you're not going to burn your fingers. And there we go. Okay. So there's our um our focal image that's going to go on there. Now I have already stamped some of the other um pieces from this. The hitch, she says, trying to find my folder. Here we go. Right. So I have stamp this this lovely little piece here just uh, like a lot, lot of words it says amazing beautiful um loving gorgeous so um i i wanted that to go there and i looked like i've got really mucky fingers and i've managed to get ink all over that but not to worry um and then i've also stamped the other bits that i want you are such a and or such an friend so we've got you are such an amazing loving beautiful gorgeous friend okay so what we'll do is we'll get these um mounted so i've got i've got my circles let's do that first what Uh, they're just nesting dies. I thought a circle would be nice rather than a square. Right. That's stuck down. Go that way. Like so. Now, because we've heat embossed, that does make the card buckle a little bit. So I'm just it that way to try and get all of that stuck um I can run a run my um sprayer over the top it might still buckle a little bit but we should be okay for the moment okay so that is going to sit up here so let's get that stuck on uh, don't put glue right on that very top bit because you're not going to um Sit that down. So, okay, and then we're going to just get some of our paper, and I'm going to. Um, what I'm going to do is with these, I'm going to just stick them on, and then I'm going to cut them with a pair of scissors rather than fussing with um trying to get such a small piece into guillotine uh, and on this piece uh, I am going to use the guillotine that edge is not very straight so let's just straighten that piece up there excuse me trying to get that to move straighten that bit there let's stick it there and then I'll run that through the guillotine That on there and there. there, a little bit more off of there. Oh, that's not going through. Oh, I'm fiddling and faffing a little bit here. There we go. Yeah, filling and faffing, and that's why that happens because I'm just faffing around. Okay. And um, where are my other two little bits? Where did they go? Ah! Oh, two bone folder that I'm just crushing. Ah, there they are. Everything's falling on the floor. Scissors. I'm just going to literally cut those. Same with this one. I'm not too worried about 
that are there, you know, all evenly spaced. And I'm going to grab some bits of, uh, oh, have I got one that's big enough? Oh, just if I trim that just slightly, I should have one that's big enough for that. There we go, let's get that stuck on. There. And in and cut that off. I've got quite inky fingers, so I can I don't think I'm making quite a bit of mess in this card. But um give my hands a clean and then Just going to cut around these ones. Oh, even if I can even stick them on, great. With my scissors, I'm not worried if it's great. She's just going back and trying to straighten it. Mm. Right, so let's finish this off then. Move the bits to the side. And just assemble the last few pieces. Find a little bit of glue gel. And we'll put these on. I'm going to put this a little higher up this time. Not over the circle, but just a little higher up than I did. Ah, now, yep, that's okay. That's all going to go on, so that's okay. There shouldn't be any glue that's gone through. Yes, phew. When I did it I, um, before, when I put this friend on, I put loads of glue and then realised that I glued it to the other side. So just glue on this end of your friend piece. And then the last bit to go on is your such an. So your such an amazing, loving, beautiful, gorgeous friend. And that stamp set, um, you could have girlfriend, um, but the one that comes with it, uh, the original set from uh, Hazel, has all of the female uh, relation stamps. Um, a little bit smaller, but um, you know, things from mam to nanny and nana and all of those. So, um, yeah, lovely little stamp set there. And if, if anyone does know what this kind of card is called, please pop a comment on because I'd love to know. Thank you. Thank you.